this foundation base and I'm going to put a small amount on my nails. And when I say small amount, I mean a thin amount. So I'm wiping off the excess. Okay. And then what you can do if you want is you could just put a little dot on each of your nails and then go back and spread it out. As you're doing this, you want to make sure that you also get the sides. I always forget to do my sides. So make sure you get the sides and try not to get any on your skin. If you do, you can just take um, some rubbing alcohol and you can clean it off with the rubbing alcohol. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in for curing. And you can see in the light, um, it kind of gets illuminated so you can see whether or not you've got all the um, sides, walls, and stuff. So I always kind of just check it out to make sure I got it all. And I'm just going to put that on for 30 seconds. Now here's the part that I do differently. If you wanted to, you could add your base color. You could do a couple coats of your base color, um, of your gel color. But what I'm doing that's different is I'm actually going to um, put a top coat on. Um, and that's usually the last step. But I make that my second step because I'm really just trying, trying to create a gel foundation and then from there I can put regular nail polish on. Now the benefits of uh, gel polish is it keeps your nails um, strong. I mean you can still break a nail with gel polish on but um, it, it really hardens your nail and that's what I like. I, I've never been able to grow my nails out until I start using the gel polish and the shine it'll stay shiny for a for a long time okay so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that also for 30 seconds and usually when I do this I do one hand at, hand at a time because that just makes sense right and then um, and then what I'll do next is I'm gonna wipe it down with uh, rubbing alcohol and the alcohol that Okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you're going to wipe this down with alcohol, and I use 91% alcohol. You can pick this up at the grocery store. Just make sure that it says 91% versus 70%. And then what I use is just a piece of paper towel that I've cut up into small squares. And then you just make sure that I really saturate the paper towel, and then I just wipe it down. And you're going to find that your nails will be stronger and after you do this your nails are dried and that's the benefit that people like it stays glossy like this and it will stay dry um, uh, it'll dry immediately um, but I like to use regular nail polish I don't like to limit myself just to the colors that the manufacturers use so I'm going to show you what I do next now a brand I really like to use is um, Sally Hanston Insta Dry or any of the Insta Dry type of um, nail polishes. I think um, there's a few of them on the market. And the reason why I like them to dry quickly is because uh, I don't like to wait, number one. And then number two, they have to be completely dry before you put on another coat of Top It Off and Cure. Otherwise, if it's not dried, it'll cause wrinkles. And you can fix the wrinkles by just adding more of this Top It Off stuff. But, um, you know, it's kind of nice to just have um, nice even layers throughout your manicure. So um, that's why I like to use the Insta-Dry. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a coat of this on all my nails, and I'll come back. Okay, so I've applied the Sally Hansen Insta-Dry to my nails. It's just a really light pink color. Now, what's nice about the way that um, I did this manicure where I did a foundation and base of the Nail Harmony products um, and then I you know I cured them in between since that's my foundation if I decided hey I'm not really thrilled with this color it's very simple for me to remove rather than doing that foil method 
what I can do is I simply could use non-acetone remover and it will just take off the color part and still leave that foundation on because you, uh, you only need to soak the um, gel part and so that's a benefit in my book. Um, so this is an easy way of changing out color. But what I'm going to do at this point is I'm still waiting for these to dry. Um, once they're dry, then what I'm going to do is I'll probably add like a little shimmer um, to it because I like a little bling. And then after that, um, I'm going to add a layer of the top it off. So in that case, since I'm going to overlay it with gel products, then um, I would have to, if I wanted to change it out after that, I would have to actually soak it off using the foil method. So um, I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, my nails have dried, and so now I'm going to add a layer of this um, light. It's called Light Elegant, and it's a little shimper, and what it's going to do, it's going to actually um, enhance. It's got a pink little undertone to it with um, some sparkles. So um, I'm going to go ahead and add that now to my to all my nails, and then I'm going to cure um, afterwards. Now I screwed up on this nail. Um, there's a, like a little dent in here and rather than trying to fix it I'm just going to use that non-acetone uh, remover that I had talked about earlier and um, I'm going to remove the nail polish, the Sally Hansen Insta-Dry. Okay and lastly my last layer is applying a thin coat of Top It Off. Now make sure you're getting your side walls, turn your finger, and um, do what they say, cap the free edge, which means just going along the edge there. And you're going to do that for all your nails. And then you're going to cure it for, in my case, 30 seconds. The last step is um, wiping it down with a saturated paper towel uh, with the 91% rubbing alcohol. and now they're dry and they're shiny and here's the difference between one without the shimmer and one with so you can see it so I'll just have to wait and then when this dries I'll do the same process um, now just one other thing I wanted to add before you um, place the final coat of top it off if you wanted to you could at that time put in little embellishments sometimes I put in uh, little Fimo flowers or rhinestones and then I'll add the top it off over over it to secure it in place. Um, I'll show you a video of that um, in a separate one and also there's some pictures on my Facebook page so make sure you go check that out too.